Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Jessica Yick from Yick's R Us, and it's been a minute and a half since I've done a grocery haul. So let's get to this. Look at all these goodies. And yes, that is right. My island is fairly clear. Is that not amazing? <laughs> we actually end up moving my desk area to way back there. Ginevra's now upstairs in our room and I wanted the island back. So now we have the island back. So yay for us. It's It feels so good. Oh, and we got new lights. Check this out. Ooh, ceiling is still isn't done yet. The drywall's not done, but we got new lights installed. Aren't they pretty? Nelson installed them. We bought these from, what was the company we got these from, honey? Light mode. Light mode. We got these. We ordered these from Light Mode. Their collection is stunning. So, anyways, it's yellow light because it creates really nice ambiance at night if we're just like cooking or having some wine or something. It's really nice. Anyways, let's get to this haul. Medium size haul to show you guys today. We went to two places. We went to this should be over here for organizational sake. We went to two different places. We went to TNT. So this is my haul from TNT, which was about thirty. I think it was like. $39 and then the haul from Canadian Superstore which was 10 bucks actually it was like nine dollars and 89 cents so all in all this is approximately 40 no I think it was like 39 bucks so it's about 50 dollars worth of groceries here that's pretty good getting all this for 50 bucks that's insane now let's break it down so First off, let's do my favorite stuff from TNT. We got mostly, every, actually we got everything on sale today, which is great, really, really great. So the first thing is we got these two things of cream style corn. We like to put this on rice with fish or with chicken and egg as a soup. It's really delicious. They were on sale for about $1.25 each, which isn't too bad. Now this is because I ran out. This is the five spice powder. Oh my goodness, lately. I have been putting this as a marinade with peanut butter on chicken. It sounds really weird, but it's delicious. It is so good. I, pan, I marinate it, then I pan sear it, and I stick it in the oven. Oh, it's so yummy, 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 yummy. The regular brand that we got is uh, was actually like twice the amount. Of, like It was like double the price. So we ended up getting a couple of these because TN, the TNT brand was cheaper. So it was uh, $1.99 instead of $4. So yay. So we got four of those. And then this, I'm going to put in the freezer. This is fish cake. So these are just fun to have. They are regular $9. Got them for $6.99. So it's not a huge deal, but it's still pretty good. You can stick these in the freezer and put this when you make noodles. It is yummy. It is easy and fast. Kind of like just an add-on thing to add on to dishes. Or you can these and then like add like uh, almost like a sesame oil hoisin oyster sauce to it. That would actually be pretty good too. Um, edamame beans. I like the organic green soybeans so these are like the um like the they're just shelled edamame beans i always have these on hand because they make really great stir fries as well as if i'm making a fried rice i throw some of this in or sometimes even if i'm making a, a soup i'll throw some of this in this was on sale for 5.99 regular it was like 8.99 so yay for that as well two things of the vermicelli i got the extra wide ones this i love putting it into i think it's called hamado or something like that it's like a pineapple juice um braised pork i think it's a filipino style so i make my own version of that um and it's really tasty with this but for these ones guys if you do buy it pre-boil them first because they take forever to cook so pre-boil them and then throw them into your sauce and let them finish in the sauce it becomes really really nice and chewy it has a really nice texture and it's made from sweet potato, so I think it's a little bit healthier. And then I got the same type of sweet potato, but also just in a regular wide vermicelli. So Ginevra likes both of these. So um, I guess it just kind of depends on what you're having. This is really good in a cucumber and... Um, what do I make with it? It's like a, a cold cucumber salad that I make that's Chinese style. And I just throw some of this cooked and chilled in it. It's really yummy. So that's that. Nelson wanted to get some miso soup mace just because sometimes it's nice to add extra flavor. We bought this about a year and a half ago. We're almost done that package. It was on sale. So he's like, you know what? They last forever. So why not, babe? Let's get some extra. Um, and then for the sale products here, this, we've actually never had it before. This is called a 
Kieran fruit. It to me it looks almost like a dragon fruit. Um, it was on sale for three ninety nine a pound, which to me is still really expensive. But Nelson wanted to try a different fruit this week, so that's why we got this. It looks really good. Yeah, it looks really interesting. It really does just look like a dragon fruit. So I'm going to give that a try. Probably do a what the fruit um, a little bit later on. Got some zucchinis. I think I got six of them because they were on sale for uh, 99 cents a pound. So we like to chop these up. Put them in stir fries, um, spaghetti sauce, or sometimes I make zucchini fries out of this. Delicious zucchini fries are amazeballs. Um, then for our clearance vegetables, this is always the most fun stuff because it's always like, oh, what are we going to get and what can we make with it? It's kind of like my own mystery basket. So these are ginormous seedless grapes for a dollar. So we got into getting two of these because Nathaniel is a grape monster and Nelson also really likes seedless grapes. So these ones we got last time and they're so good. They were so sweet because of the giant ones, uh, but they're seedless, which is really fun. It's just much easier to eat. So um, we got two bags of that. This one is the bigger bag for $1.99, and this was a smaller bag for, for a dollar. I'm sure we'll get through these fairly quickly because they are on clearance. You do want to eat these up fast. Uh, you could also throw these in the freezer, wash them, um, dry them up and then throw them in the freezer. Apparently they taste like candy. So that's another option to do too. This is a type of cauliflower that I've actually never had. I've been wanting to try it for a really long time. It was on clearance. So I was like, you know what? Hey, why not? So this is, I think they said that this is a Chinese style cauliflower. It feels less dense than the regular cauliflower that we normally see. So I'm wondering if the flavoring will also be different. But for a buck, I was like, sure, why not? Let's give that a shot and give that a go. This was the cabbage that was on sale. Um, at TNT. So the regular sale price is 39 cents a pound. So we went and weighed this out. This is just over four pounds worth of cabbage. So it still works out to be a better deal. So we got that. And the bonus is they already take, took out all the yucky bits because they might, I usually take out the first couple layers of the cabbage anyways. So I don't even have to pay for that. So yay, and a bonus. Um, this was also an interesting mix. Peppers and mushrooms, again, only for $1.99. The mushrooms are going to have to cook up probably tomorrow. I'll probably make a spaghetti sauce. I sometimes mince these up really super fine and I use that as a meat replacement. And I mean, the kids hardly notice a difference. Nelson notices a bit of a difference, but I mean, I but still put some meat in there, but I use this as so that I put less meat in there. Um, peppers, because peppers are always yummy. Love them in stir fries. Plus, I still have half a celery in my fridge that I can use to make a really quick and easy stir fry with. Um, lemons. This was such a deal for lemons. Look at all these lemons. And most of them look really good, except for this one. Kind of looks kind of yucky. But, I mean, I could just, you know, use it for cleaning if I can't eat it. Um, I've been doing a lot more baking. I made some lemon squares, some lemon pound cake, and all that jazz. So, Ginevra wants lemon cookies. So, these will definitely come in handy for that i wonder if i can make my marmalade out of this like a lemon oh i can make lemon curd lemon curd's delicious so that was again for a dollar so all in all this was an amazing price for all of these groceries from tnt so now let's move in to the deals that i got from the canadian superstore like crazy deals from the clearance section we got these take me home cookies 30 percent off for um, a quick sale it says best before date is november the 9th we won't eat them by november 9th but honestly they they last f past that too it's just the best before date uh, one or two days later it's fine plus Geneva is a cookie monster so there we go i can make these i know but i've actually never made white chocolate with chocolate cookies before so i mean let's see if she likes it then we'll decide from there if i'm going to make them um she loves english muffins she was raving about how much she loves her daddy cheese and egg sandwiches for breakfast so you can actually make these ahead of time wrap them individually throw them in the freezer and then you can pop them in the microwave to defrost if you want to we usually just make it fresh i just really love toasting these and put peanut butter and jam on it and just letting it melt it is so good oh i also have some frozen avocados maybe i can make some like avocado sandwiches too ah oh, yes avocado toast yes please this was an insane deal for some reason okay so last week i got a um i got a rain check on them because they were sold out so they're supposed to be five dollars a tray for the large ones from burn Bray, but for some reason they scanned them for me today and i got them for 250 each that means that each egg like every egg costs less than nine cents it was like eight cents eight eight point three cents or so that's incredible so i got two i got 60 eggs in total for that so that was an incredible price and then also if you guys shop from the canadian superstore always check out their deal of the week because guess what i got this for free 
Oh my gosh, I love free gifts. <laughs> so this I actually got for free because they have a thing on there that if the cashier doesn't mention the deal a week, you can get one for free. So she didn't mention it, and at the end, after she gave me a receipt, I'm like, oh, by the way, the deal of the week. She's like, oh yeah, which one do you want? <laughs> I had a choice between vitamin D and vitamin C, so I chose the vitamin D because we're getting into winter. We go outside less, so it's always good to supplement your vitamin D. And that's it. Wow, I think I talked really, really fast. All in all, guys, about $50 worth of groceries, which I think is actually pretty good. I can make a lot of really yummy meals and snacks out of this. Plus, of course, we still have things in our fridge, like we have milk and all that stuff. So this is not a true account of what we're eating this week, but it is what we're adding to our stockpile of food. Recently, I have also learned that you can freeze a zucchini. Um, if you want me to talk about that, I definitely can. Just let me know in the comment section. Let me know what is the best deal that you have gotten over this last little while because I love watching grocery hauls. It's like one of those things I just, I love to do. I love watching grocery hauls. I love seeing how much grocery costs and what people are buying from all different parts of the world. And um, up here in Canada, this is what you get for about 50 bucks. So thanks so much for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video guys, make sure you do let me know. Give me a big fat thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, make sure you do come and hang out with us again. Click that subscribe button as well as the little bell icon beside it so you never miss a video notification. I strive to post up here every single week. And on this channel, I focus on life, food, and travel. If you want to see more of my beauty videos as well as my business tip videos, make sure you do jump over to my other channel, The Dancing Avon Lady, and we'll see you in the next one. I love you guys. Bye.